Hi! In this video, I will guide you through the example 3 that comes in the DZUI package, the buttons animations. Let's get started. So if you open the scene and you can do that by going to Doozy, examples, scenes, and here you double click on E3, buttons, animations, landscape 3D. Well, this uh, scene is recommended to be viewed in landscape mode and in 3D mode. If you see it like this, well, you have 2D mode enabled, so you should disable it. And this is the scene and this is how it looks. And in this scene, we do quite a lot of things. We do some camera animations. We show you some uh, menus that are made in 3D space and we show you how you can connect animations, particle systems, effects and sounds all in a 3D menu. So you can also create something like this. Let's press play and let's see it in action. It also has music. So we have some particle systems. This is a button. Animation. Here we can see we have some uh, button animations that we can uh, preview just by, uh, yeah. And to see that this is actually a 3D scene, we also have a camera rotator. Check it out. It's all 3D. And we can also press escape. The back button works and it connects the animation. Let's press back escape. Let's start the orbit animation for the camera and we can stop it let's press escape check it out escape again so the animations are connected with the ui i'm pressing the escape key to control this so i'm gonna press escape instead of this button and i'm gonna press escape again mid animation check it out yeah it just works again i'm gonna press escape yeah there you go all right, so now that you've seen this, you may be wondering how the hell did uh, we do this? Well, it's not that easy, but you should have some decent understanding of how animations and animators work. First of all, the camera. The camera listens for several game events. Show welcome, show main menu, main menu orbit. And these are game events that we use to trigger animation triggers. And let me show you the animator that uh, is, uh, is used. So this is the animator. So you have a welcome and main menu and an orbit animations and also the start animation, of course. And let me show you the animation. So window, animation, animation. There we go. Let's see the animations. I'm going to select the camera an animator and let's see the start animation. And let's go in. Actually, I'm good in the game view. So this is the first animation and I'm animating the camera. Check it out. This is the camera and look how it gets animated. And this is what, actually, let me put it like that. And this is the first animation. All right, let's go to the next one, the welcome. And this is the welcome animation, the one that you see here. Let's also disable the main menu zone so it's easier to understand. Let's go back here. So this is the animation that you saw at the beginning. And after that, when we send the game event, show main menu. Well, we go to the main menu part and this is the main menu and it's here. And this is the main menu. Let me show you. Yeah, this will be easier if you see it like that. And this is the main menu. Oh, no, this is the other one. This is the main menu. All right. So you will remember this one. And we also have the camera orbit. Again, look how the camera moves around our target. You can also use Cinema Machine for this. Yeah, but we didn't want to add another asset to the to the mix. All right. So this was the cam this was a camera animation. And this is separate from everything else. Now we have a zone animation, and here again we have a show and a hide, and we use a progressor to to hide it. This doesn't work in uh, editor. It works only at runtime because that is how animators work in Unity. And you can see the animation here. So this is the animation. Let's uh, hide this. So we play, we, we, uh, by using a progressor, 
we're able to do this and show you this type of uh, animation. Check it out. And this is the UI, and this is a different part of uh, the system. There you go. And let's take a preview mode. And we also have this one. Let's hide this one. And again, this has an animation. Check it out. What am I showing here? Oh, the wrong one. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. And this is the way the animation works frame by frame. So that is what, uh, what you saw. You can look at it and you can create a lot of crazy animations with uh, this approach. And uh, yeah, we also have our views animations. So uh, let me come here, let's say landscape and let's see the graph controller that does all the magic. So let's start. We have a sound node. And then we have some weight nodes because we wanted to add some pauses between showing the views so that the animations are perceived nicer. So you can see you can also add certain pauses for UI depending on your particular setup. And here we said we say show welcome and we send a game event that does exactly that. Let's also see, are we using any master canvas? Uh, no. We are just uh, having here some canvases set to, I believe, workspace. So let's see where this is. So we have one here. Let's hide the main menu zone for now. So we have this canvas that contains probably a welcome view. And this has a show. So let's see, this has a show animation and a hide animation. As you can see, this is in word space. And they're all uh, set in, you know, in such a way that they look nice and in a, uh, polished and interconnected. So you can, uh, and this is our button. Of course, this also has, check it out. This also has, uh, yeah. Come on. I'm so clumsy today. This also has animation. So show animation. Actually, that, that was the hide animation. And this is the show animation. There you go. And uh, yeah, that's how this uh, scene has been put together. A lot of systems interconnected that uh, work together to create uh, this type of uh, setup. And of course, here we also have another. Come on. Why am I so clumsy? So here we have another, where is it? Point panel support, where am I looking at? Point light, monolith, circular base, panel support, canvas, yeah, another canvas. And this is set to world space. And again, is matched to, to this particular screen. And we probably have a show and a hide animation. Right, come on, uh, play, yeah. So yeah, this is how it works. I'm gonna show the scene one more time. And yeah, you should look uh, how it is connected because it's a very interesting setup. Let's press play and let's see it again in action. There you go. I didn't show the particle systems, but the same thing, so. And let's rotate. All right. And uh, yeah, this is it for uh, this particular example. Thank you.